Learning how to use a compass is a useful skill for anyone who enjoys getting out into the outdoors. And it can also help you navigate safely, whether you're walking alone, with friends or leading a group. So what is a compass and how does it work? We recommend using a base plate compass, which is rectangular in shape and marked with the metric scale. To navigate successfully, you will need to use your compass alongside a map. The compass helps you align or orientate your map with your surroundings, also known as setting the map. Know which direction you are traveling in. This is called your heading. Work out which direction a destination is from you, a bearing. Follow a straight line of travel, known as following a bearing. Let's take a closer look at the features of a compass. The base plate of the compass is transparent, so you can still read the map underneath. The compass dial, also known as a compass wheel, has four main points, north, south, east and west. On the wheel, you'll see a mark every two degrees, covering 360 degrees in total. The magnetic needle rotates freely inside the compass housing and is marked red at one end for north and white at the other for south. The orienting lines are designed to be aligned with the vertical lines on a map also known as Eastings. An orienting arrow is fixed and aligned north within the dial. The index line aligns with the orienting arrow and is used to set a bearing. At the end of the base plate is a direction of travel arrow. This shows the direction you want to travel in once you have taken a bearing. The compass scale is marked along the edge of the base plate so you can measure distances on a map. Now we've talked through the main features of a compass, let's look at how to use it with a map. So where do you want to go? First, confirm your start point on the map. Use the edge of the compass to create a line between your start and end point. Next, you need to align your compass to grid north. Hold the compass still and turn the compass wheel so the orienting lines align with the grid lines on the map. Check the orienting arrow is pointing to grid north on the map. Now you can take the compass off the map. Hold it flat at waist height and turn on the spot until the red needle lines up with the orienting arrow. Look down the red direction of travel arrow and you're all set. Start walking in that direction and repeat these steps if you reach a crossing or change your route along the way. Now that we've covered the basics, you're ready to put what we've learned into practice. Take yourself off for a walk with your compass and map and see how you get on.